I just want to thank everyone for having this event. I think I have grown a lot through the years that I've been associated with Mesa. And um, one of the things I learned about that I've tried to get moving here in Utah is reducing um, school food waste. Um, and I learned about that through Mesa. I wanted to just share what brought me um, as a legislator to focus on the environment. As we came back to visit family um, years ago, we came in the plane through really horrible air quality where you could see how bad the air quality was. And all of my five siblings and my parents still live here in Utah. So I thought about my nieces and nephews and the um, impacts of that air on their lives. And I wanted to make a difference. And so I think that's one of the things that when I joined Women's State Legislative Council of Utah, I had the opportunity to choose which committee I was on, I think, and I chose natural resources. And one of the most impressive experiences I had during those years was being able to bring um, from the University of Utah Law School, Bob Kiter and John Rupel in the Wallace Stegner Center. I invited John Rupel to come and share his white paper about the federal lands. And this, back when I first started in that group, uh, we had this federalism pushed in lawsuits that these were state lands that needed to come back to Utah. And that white paper talks about that these were, have always been federal lands and that all the lands that Utah has were given to them by the federal government. Um, I also am inspired by the district I represent to focus on the environment. If you look at a physical printout of what this district is, the majority of it is Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons and the beauty and the water that they provide for all of us here in this valley is so critical and important that we protect and preserve it. And then um, I just wanted to share some of the experiences I've had as I've served on that committee and the things that I've seen that are exciting around the state. Um, first of all, when I, after my first session in office, I had, the opportunity to have a volunteer intern. And I asked her to look through our legislative audits on natural resources. And she found that the Watershed Restoration Initiative, which is a program unique to Utah, that for the past 17 years now, I think has been improving our watersheds. Every dollar that is put into them results in $5 of benefit to Utah through their collaboration with the federal government and counties and nonprofits. And we were able to put that watershed restoration into state code because of her work. And um, that sounds like it wasn't maybe that big a deal, except as we were drafting the bill, Summit County reached out and said, can you create an endowment fund so that when we have money, we can give it to the watershed restoration initiative and then use it the following year to do work in our county. So we did that. They gave a million dollars the first year, $10 million the next. So we're able to, um, as we collaborate, really improve and increase our efforts to improve the land and watersheds. Another exciting experience I've had is to see the collaboration between our state and federal governments. Last year, we were invited to go on a tour of Beaver Mountain and see the work that has been done there to reduce the risk of wildfire and to um, pull out dead wood and have prescribed burn. And that was wonderful mate, for me to see the collaboration because there is a great deal of amount of pushback in our state. And I was able to lock eyes with Reg, Director Reg Johnson and acknowledge the progress that they are making together. And I've been able to go and see this work happening um, in our watersheds currently in Mill Creek Canyon. And um, one other exciting thing I was able to do this past summer is out in Eagle Mountain, they are working on creating a wildlife corridor crossing. And this is a nonprofit grassroots group working with the city, working with um, the um, Douglas Proving Grounds 
to create this um, protected wildlife crossing through gate, through fences, through under under roadway pathways, to get the deer and other wildlife through this new city that has moved so far into undeveloped land in a safe way. So that was very encouraging for me to see. They that city, Eagle Mountain, has their own city biologist. They, they, that's how dedicated they are to trying to remediate the impacts that they are putting on the land there. And then just a few more things. Um, I wanted everyone here to know that there is a bipartisan Great Salt Lake Caucus. It is not meeting often enough, but we do meet last, meet, last session. We met every week of the session. We need to meet more during the time outside of the session. Representative Doug Owens is fundamental to keeping that group going. And I'm glad to serve on that. And I want to acknowledge the work that I'm doing right now with um, Soren Simonson and other people in our state on riparian corridors. We have a working group and a bill to hopefully within the next five years that each city and county within our state will have a vision of what they want for their riparian corridor and that we will be providing the tools and information and staff to help them find their repairing corridors and to create the vision and begin the work of what they want. And I can talk more about any of that during the question. And I, I, you know, I think for a lot of us, this is a time when our faith is pushed. I served a mission for this faith in Mexico. I've been a part of this church um, throughout the country, serving in leadership throughout the country. And yet right now, as I see and think about things like um, protection of our leadership when they know of sexual child abuse, it's very painful me to, for me to stay in the church. There are other things that are particularly in my family um, with LGBTQ members, I would like them to feel more welcome within the church. And so I'm grateful for a group like this that helps us all be honest with each other and helps me see the breadth of people that are within religion and working on these issues. Thank you.